Good morning, folks. We've got seismic activity, updates on cosmology and climate. Jeff Bezos gets back in the news for a different reason than he's in the news everywhere else right now. We'll answer some Observer Ranch questions as well as we begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star were pretty calm. The filament we saw in the opening was the most exciting thing to watch. Solar wind is plateaued at Earth and the magnetic field is recovering. Coronal hole earthquake watch begins to wane soon. But recall that at the end of January, we put focus here on the South Pacific both east and west. I guess the crust couldn't figure it out either and decided to split the difference. Mid-ocean ridge event there. We also had a weird one just this morning, five-pointer in West Africa. I'll look more into that one today. The records keep falling due to the snowstorm pounding the east right now. New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania taking huge totals and the coastline is being battered by wind and waves as well, buildings succumbing to the weight of the snow on the roofs. Quick stop in Candyland, Oh, now I understand. We can't find dark matter because it's hiding in another dimension, but also somehow able to sculpt the cosmos over cosmic time and dominate galactic dynamics. Pretty sure the lockdowns are starting to get to the cosmologists. At least this next one is based on a real observation, even if the interpretation is probably wrong. A nod to the constant walling off of astronomical subfields as the massive halo and extended stellar regions are part of the much larger galactic picture being discovered. Not that cosmologists can learn from galactic astrophysics, just say it must be a massive dark matter halo even though you can't see anything but normal matter. Remember, this is just what galaxies look like to us. In reality, this is what the Milky Way galaxy system really looks like with the dwarf satellite galaxies and extended halo of gas and plasma inflowing and outflowing, all connected to other large systems in the cosmic web. Folks, there is an excellent article that can help explain to anyone why the simple propaganda we usually get on climate change just isn't so simple. Huge drops, record drops in pollution during the COVID lockdown, a real-life test run for the ultra-extreme climate policies being seriously discussed. And as we covered when the paper came out months ago, the planet got warmer. But the article is much easier to read than the paper. It just came out. Most people simply don't appreciate the complexity beyond pollution bad, and they miss the inconsistencies between what we're told and what actually is. Now folks, if you remember my video on Jeff Bezos' catastrophe bug out location, please say something in the comment section. I searched my channel up and down and I couldn't find it. Appears to be gone. So since he's quitting to spend a heck of a lot more time involved with this bug out location, I guess I'll just have to do this again. The Sierra Diablo Mountains are a little stretch in West Texas, actually part of the New Valley of the Sun. Jeff owns one or all of these and is hollowing out a portion for what he says is a millennium clock. Okay. Corn Ranch on the southeast side, fracking sand pit south of that, and of course the Blue Origin facility due east. As we'll check out both the landing pad and launch pad, I want you to consider that the world's richest man can go up or he can go underground, under a mountain about one mile away from each other. Heck, he can go up, come down, and then go under. Hey, Elon, what are those tunnels for again? Never mind. Observer Ranch. For those looking to have a spot all their own at the ranch, your visitation days are the 9th and the 20th. The first lottery for the spots is Valentine's Day the 14th. The virtual video tour is almost done on my end, and if you were wanting to be part of that, deadline is racing up and it takes at least two days to get things squared away. Many of you have already donated to the Observer's Campground portion of the ranch, the new home of our community events with special guests. For more on getting a spot at the ranch or something even more, a credited and ownership button has the directions. For those who have already donated and got back to cat about the name for display, we are slowly adding to the list of founders. This page will never leave the website and some of you will have the physical plaques at the campground as well. After the Micronova, I'm thinking we're all going to move slightly south, like to West Texas area. We greatly appreciate your support. ObserverRanch.com. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.